guys! I am Chris Kaler. And I'm Axia from Huge and Cosplay. And today we are watching the episode 4 of, five. Five of season 2 of Breaking Bad. Exactly. Uh, this one I really need. Where's the season 2? Just right there. Oh, well, you just did. Uh, this episode, because the titles are important, this could too. It's okay. after down. Breakage. 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 Like. Something or... breaking, well, uh, yeah. something destroyed. I don't know. You don't know. Yeah. Whoa! Ah! <laughs> okay. So, Breckage episode five of season two. Do you Breckage. remember what happened last episode? Uh, last episode, it was down. Yes. So we saw uh, Skyler revolting against uh, Walter. Yes. We saw Jesse just losing <laughs> losing everything and just trying to get his, his head out of out of the water. Literally, uh, when it comes down to the toilet. Uh, oh yeah, that scene. Thank you. <laughs> and he fought it off. He fought it off with Walter at the end. Both of them. They were... do need money now, so <laughs> they well, have I mean, to work. Now at least Jesse got half the money that Walter still had, so he can yeah. pay for for his rent. At least he can find a place to stay. Do you think? I I wonder if he's gonna pay the guy. Ah, uh, uh, maybe. Uh, he said, the, uh, "Is uh, the toll." He said that uh, his word, that, that was his word, like, I don't know, I don't remember what he said exactly, but he usually keeps his promises, that's what he said, so, but he's, he did steal his own RV, so I don't yeah. know, but, uh, yeah, now he's got a, a, enough money to at least find a place to stay, mm -hmm. and uh, it seems that both boys ended up at the worst state. Uh, uh, where now, is he leaving? Living? Nowhere now. Jesse is leaving nowhere in right the now. RV? Uh, for now, we don't you know. You just say he had a place to sleep. No, he can find a place to sleep. Ah, yeah, yeah. And uh, both boys were at their lowest last episode, and all they can do from there is go up. Right? Yep. When you're at your downest, you just can You can just go up. Yes. So, yeah, without further ado, let's watch episode five. Yeah. So, here we go. Let's go. The chemist in French. <laughs> I'm guessing they're crossing the border. That's what I guess. Ah, is there a river in the? Border? Well, maybe that that's that might be not the the border, but, but near. they just cro across the border. Yeah. Or they are on the very uh, epic road trip. <laughs> That? It's uh, two codes. Yeah. Who kept it, right? Oh, it was. It's eh? Hank. Hank kept it. Not anymore. What happened? I can't tell you. I was freaking out when I watched this episode. Uh, my first. friend, my my friend Nico, yeah? told me too that uh, Hank is one of his favorite favorite, favorite characters. characters. Yeah. You'll tell me who your favorite characters are at the end of the show. Like he's. Not naive, you know, but kind of innocent, like an uncle. And he reminds me of a teddy bear. Yeah, like uh, he, all the way he tries to be a good guy. It's cool. Not a lot of crystal on the streets right now. Good. And of course, that's not going to last. Well, we keep hearing the name Heisenberg. Lately, pretty much every dime bagger we come across. Heisenberg? Yeah, I know. Maybe it's a tweaker urban legend. Still, somebody somewhere... El Chupacabra! <laughs> Big blue we keep playing. Know why sharks are at the top of the food chain, Hank? Because they have three sets of teeth and will take a bite out of anything? Some of those suckers travel thousands of miles in pursuit of their prey. You, my friend, are a great wine. How does Albuquerque liaison Tri-State Border Interdiction Task Force sound? Like one hell of a promotion. As of the wow. first time, you split your time between here and El Paso. Thank you, sir. El Paso! <laughs> What's gonna do without me, Gomi? <laughs> Celebrate. Stairs. Big time. Time to get lost on the drug dealers and stuff. Schrader. It's really uh, near it's the border, really, too. Yeah. yeah. You know, yeah but that's too. where the big stuff business happens. is doing. Yeah. El Paso. Why do they don't... Do not, why, why do they not have children? He's freaking out. Panic. Oh no, our, our, no! No! 
Non 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 What do you think this is? Art attack Or a panic attack And after the promotion maybe it's panic attack Panic attack That my friend was the first time we got to see something in Hank's psych in his character Hank's psych? In his character, his personality, something in his mind that he, he doesn't show to other people. That was the beginning of when I started to like Hank. He hide it from his friends and family. Maybe it's not the first time. Maybe, so that we don't know. Jane, I gotta say, this place is awesome. Really? Does it inspire awe? No, I mean, you know, it's great. It's just what I've been looking for, that's what I meant. No smoking, no pets. You want a smoky dude outside? Uh, no, yeah, 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 no. Um, school, no worries. Right, you never said nothing about a meth lab. Pay stub, current employer, former address, you know, the yada yada. She's kind of cute. Yeah, look, uh. You've never seen her in a movie before? I can. What? You've never seen her in a movie before? Unbelievable. She looks kind of familiar. And I'm currently not renting. Pen on paper, that's what I need. Or go run your game somewhere else. Dude, I got nowhere else to go. This is it. And I got no game, all right? I just need a chance. Who is she? Rent is one manager. No. Hundred more. The actress? Yeah. I'll tell you that. Cash price. I'll show you what she's done. Okay. Yes. She's sad. I'll tell you I like it. Just sign your name. <laughs> the actor sells these now. No. Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but he makes his own alcohol. Yeah. Cool. My dad used to do that too. I, I don't know if he still does. My parents does wine. But yeah, wine. My, my dad does wine too. What are you doing? You call in sick the day after receiving a long-awaited career-boosting promotion so you can play Oktoberfest in your man cave. <laughs> oh, he calls sick for his I panic attack. The day off. I have a feeling the guy doesn't tell her about his panic attacks, so... Yep. Are you under a lot of pressure, buddy? Kids outside there, they're done. No, 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 no. That's oh, not that? what I'm thinking about. Sorry. Is he making some links between Eisenberg and Walter? Why would he? Because he know that the stuff was stole from the school. He, he still knows it. We'll see. And now he's looking at someone who has a great uh, chemist power. Maybe that's why he's gonna quit his job, maybe, and pitching uh, to go <laughs> through away his throw uh, away his memoralia. Okay, so what, what's the plan? The plan is we cook. So why are we cooking when we can't even move what we cook? Huh? He can't sell it. Why? Oh no, to they don't have a buyer. They'll find another one. And maybe I think it's more valuable that they do this. Well, they still just just talk their own on their own. On, their own. on not on maybe Dude. on their own, but or in another town. Prior to Tuco, that was your plan, wasn't it? What choice do we have? But first of all, there's no we. Okay, you're talking me solo, busting hub, slinging shards. I got profile now. Don't you get that? A DA's up my ass. No, I'm not exposing myself to that level of risk for chump change. No way. Then what do you suggest? We got to be too go. I thought about it. Cut out the middleman. Run our own game. Look, I know some guys. All right, I, I can create a network. Could work. No. Yeah. That's not the point. No, I am not willing to do that. Who said anything about you? Oh. I don't vote for this plan. I'm not comfortable bringing in unknown entities into our operation. Yeah? Well, you don't get to vote. Do I vote? This is a partnership, remember? I remember. Oh, I remember. Hmm. Yeah, Wait. you cook. I sell. That was the vision of labor when we started all this. Yeah. 
And that's exactly how we should have kept it. Because I sure as hell didn't find myself locked in a trunk or on my knees with a gun to my head before your greedy old ass came along. All right? I will admit to a bit of a learning curve. <laughs> oh, perhaps I was overly ambitious. In any case, it's not going to happen that way anymore. Yeah. Well, it was Damn Walter's straight. idea to work no with Tuco, I... so. And like you said, my way this time? he's good in chemistry, oh, but he's good in the street. Yeah. So listen to him for once. You need me more than I need you. Yeah. Walt. No, but that's a huge. He usually calls him Mr. White. He shows respect. Now he's calling him Walt. He grew some, some balls! No, I, I think it's just they're familiar. I, no, I think it's his way of showing that he doesn't listen to him. He, he saw he, himself as, as an equal, not a mister. Yeah, basically. Uh, and I front each of you an ounce. You, know, you sell for 2500 I keep the two, you keep the five. No cutting it, you sell it as is, all right? 2500 an ounce? That's kind of like hopeful, bro. This is the best shiz ever. All right, everybody and their mother's gonna want to taste. And second, who else is selling right now, huh? It's dry out there, that's for sure. Church. So you point it how you want, okay? Quarter, half, teen, or whatever. But I make what I make, too large, no exceptions. Short me, you're out. Cut it, you're out, period. Badger. This is a big opportunity I am giving you. He's good at this. Understand. A big opportunity. Exactly. All right, this is the ground floor. Gentlemen, how oh, you read hard. He's not the brightest of the bunch, no, 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 but he's not here, all right? He's not precious. <laughs> Blind drop. Yeah. <laughs> no. You think there's uh, something's going to be wrong with Badger? You keep looking and at I, him. Yeah, and Jesse is looking at him too. I mean, like I said, he's not the brightest of the bunch. Of course, he's going to be stupid. He doesn't trust him. It's the Paris of the Southwest, please. It's Texas, for God's sake. Right on the border of lawless Mexican hell. El Paso is in Texas. Human no, it's in Texas. They leave. The cartels, they leave. Uh, I heard, I heard something else. I'm so... <laughs> El Paso is in Texas, yes. Sorry, I heard something else. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know why I thought you said Mexico. Condo in Georgetown in a couple of years. So, was it... Scary? Hell yeah, that was freaking scary, you little punk. Jesus. But you were way faster than him. Well, I'm here, aren't I? Yeah? You know what it is? Cockroach comes out from under a fridge. What do you do? I mean, you don't think about it. You stop him down. Where did he come from? Criminals like the one you. Uh, I mean, what do you think it is that makes them who they are? Psst. Buddy might as well be asking about the roaches. Oh, I know. There's a whole world out there. It's like his uncle. Like Duco's uncle. Mm. Yeah, I got pissed like a race. Sometimes it's family, sometimes it's slippery slope. And you never know, like. Someone could be forced to do something tomorrow and become a criminal. Motivation does a lot. Ah. One of these montages. I love them. I love them. <laughs> What's up, my man? It's the a beginning to a good Yeah, a good business. thing? If... It, I mean, it if works. The, if the three of them don't cut it, play the chip, that could be great. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Cool. <laughs> oh, she gets on my nerves. We're gonna do great. Ah, her laugh. I can't. I can't. Sounds like a witch. Oh, yeah. Well, he should have go by himself, not following her. I don't trust the people who's buying from you. Yeah, and like I said, it's a dangerous job. Yeah. 
That's why Walt doesn't want Jesse to go there. But Jesse doesn't want it to go there. It puts him at risk. Well, yeah. It sure was you. 16 ounces should net to me $16,000. 16. Not 15. Something came up. Um, My guys got held up by a couple junkies. Lost an ounce. But it's cool. Okay, skinny piece cool. Oh. So you're saying. No! <laughs> your guy got robbed, or rather you got robbed, but it doesn't matter. Dude, it's called breakage, okay? Oh, you like need to revenge. Like shit breaks. And you're thinking this is acceptable. It's the cost of business. Hey, look, I'm just the chemist here. I'm not the street guy, yo. <laughs> but it seems to me that what you call breakage is just you making a fool of yourself. Yep. I've got another technical term for you. Non-sustainable business model. You're focusing on the negative. What happens the when reputation. the reputation gets out? And it's open season on these clowns you've hired, huh? Once everyone knows that Jesse Pinkman, drug lord, can be robbed with impunity. Come on. You think Tuco had breakage? I guess it's true, he did. He broke bones. Is that it? No. Take I don't it. understand. Here. He's right. Yeah, but we'll talk about you this got later. Fifteen thousand you didn't have yesterday. Because there's more. Big. Shit happens. Seriously. What the hell do you want me to do? Huh? That's the question. That's when it gets hard to. No, there. <laughs> there was an Eisenberg. I'm sure. That's my theory. Oh no. Pink. You should have said to Mary to call the cops. He is a cop, sort of. Yes, but he's alone. <laughs> oh! What? No. <laughs> He's so nervous though. He's under pressure. Yes, a lot, and I don't know why. I have my suspicions. There is something that you might not pick up on right there in this scene. If you don't pick up on it, I'll tell you later. You ask me what I want you to do. I want you to handle it. But I don't know why they're the his guy is not where Yeah, I mean want. they're selling to the same people. Like they yeah. have customers so that you can find them again for sure. Well why did the tree like badger and yeah. know, I don't know Picard? Because he's not I mean they're just the sellers. Yeah, but sellers need to defend themselves. Yeah, for sure. Oh. That's when he yeah. He toss it? He toss this. I thought when I first watched the episode and I saw this in the river, I, I was so scared he was gonna get killed. Ah, uh, like he, he was like panicked he was all, all the episode. He panics all the uh, all the time. <laughs> that Somehow. could be an excuse. There you or go. maybe he's having uh, PTSD about Tuco. What did uh, he throw well, at the end of the episode? Tuco, he, he doesn't uh, like crack, to kill yeah. this guy. Even if it's the bad guy, he doesn't want to kill yeah, someone. I mean, uh, maybe it's the first time he kills someone. Maybe. Surely. Oh. And uh, I mean, he, he likes to play a character, but it affects him a lot. He, he, I mean, he didn't really lie about it to Walter Jr. He was telling him, like, yeah, I was scared. Yep. Don't bullshit uh, me with that. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Like, the panic attacks comes after the... The accident and when uh, Walter Jr. asks about information about the Yeah, and Walter story. Jr. is so inter interested in these details. Breakage. Breakage. <laughs> but, uh, it's yeah. Aang's breakage. I mean, it would make sense. Ah. But it also makes sense with the breakage of uh, Jesse and his, his little deal. Yeah, but I think... It's, it's well, yeah. Just like I said during the episode, like... Uh, I think that's it's Heisenberg that's gonna come out. Like I like the fact that Jesse was going to Duco's. It doesn't work. 
I send Ice and Bert. Uh, did you read? Did you? We'll f we'll finish to talk about Hank, and we'll come back to this. Oh uh, yeah, you have uh, another uh, thing to say today. There is one Nothing? little thing I noticed when I watched the episode that you did not really pick up on. Did you notice the? Uh, Give what me was a it, hint. What was so important about the bottle scene? Ah, oh, it's uh, he's freaking out. He thinks that someone's here to kill him. I'm gonna take you on a uh, analyze this journey here. Okay, the bottles are what represent. Hank. Ah, oh, it's his beer. It's his own face. It's himself. Yeah, and it, now it is he's himself. Popping and out. He is overflowing them. He is. Yeah. Why are they breaking like this? It's because he's overflowing them. Just like he keeps his emotions in. Inside. We're just waiting for it to pop. Oh my god, it's a true man. Like keep your emotions inside. Hank represents like masculinity. You know yeah. the the stereotype oh, definition yeah. of masculinity, mm. and uh, it's. It's interesting to see because I think, if I remember correctly, because, I mean, there's a it's lot of... the men. But I think this episode is the first episode where we really get a look into who he is when he's alone. When yeah, he's we're not following him a lot. And exactly. uh, maybe the first one we saw him was in season one when... Uh, uh, we start talking about Mary's appointment to, in psychology. We or... saw the relation. Yeah. yeah but we never really them. followed Hank alone. Uh, but yeah, kind of. When we he's not wearing him, the mask. And... But, we saw him with Mary, we saw him with people, so you know, okay. we know how his mask... We, we know his mask very well by now, but yeah. we don't know what he but is it was, under it. It was one of the good episodes to see how he hacks with people. That and was the first... And him like more in, inside. Yeah. To me, that's basically, that's when I could say this episode is the beginning of me really liking Hank. When we get to really see yeah. who he is under the mask, this is the beginning, right? because I mean, of course, it's interesting to have a character development. Oh, I mean, oh yeah, and in this show, they do that really well. I think I can count on my on my hand here, the fingers on my hand, how many characters didn't really change throughout the series. And when I say they didn't it change, changed. it's probably because they died before anything <laughs> could happen. So just uh, like too cool, yeah, just like yeah. <laughs> uh, crazy B. Crazy, crazy eight. eight, and even Crazy Eight, we know like stuff about him now that can make yeah, us analyze his character. It was kind of a character, and yeah. So yeah, it's breaking my heart to see a guy like Hank, who's such a teddy bear, just keep everything inside like this, and he feels like he cannot tell anyone. He that, needs to be the man. Yeah, and that's that's gonna destroy him, like his bottles. Like a lot of adult, yeah, exactly. Adult but now we're, and depression. We're watching Hank now, but killing Tuco definitely did something to Keeping him. him Keeping a PTSD inside can brings you to depression. Yeah, that's why he threw away that 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 thing. Like it's one thing to pretend that it's not bothering you; it's another thing to go through it. And now he's mm -hmm. being sent to El Paso, where it's yeah, much it's more intense. It's more intense, exactly. Um, by the way, sorry again about me just basically saying like, no, El Paso's in Texas. Right after you said El Paso's in Texas, <laughs> I don't know why I heard Mexico. <laughs> it's just funny, <laughs> like. <laughs> El Paso is Texas. No, El Paso is in Texas. <laughs> Sorry. What? <laughs> All right. You met Jane this episode. Um, Jane, you've seen her. Oh, the the not the landlord, the manager, but the manager yeah. of the land. Jane, the, the house. You might have heard of her before because before we really watched Breaking Bad, I showed you a photo of uh, uh, Aaron Paul dressing up as a girl. He was dressing up as Jane. Oh, I liked her style. Yeah. For the good stuff. She seems oh, to... Is Jesse wearing uh, another girl and it was someone, another one of Breaking Bad? You, you said like uh, Hank, man, the actor. Uh, yeah, 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 him, no. What's his Brian name? Brian Cranston was dressed as Skyler and Aaron Paul was dressed uh, yeah, as Jane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Uh, but, that was the rap party of uh, season two, I think, so... Um, I don't remember when they dressed up like that. Oh, okay, a rap, that's a rap, not a rap. Yeah, you, no. <laughs> but yeah, you met Jane, you like her style? <coughs> yeah, she's kind of, she's not, she's not, I said savage, but she's um, having, well, yeah, a character. She's, she's, character. Got, she's got spirit. She's Let's got well, a good spirit, she's, uh, she's like uh, earth to earth. Yeah, but she seems chill enough, like, he, he, she allowed him to stay, even though he had no paperwork, no recommendations, no, no. nothing. But and, uh, he still uh, signs the... He signed a fake name, but she didn't ask for anything else because he convinced her to let it go. 
So she's pretty chill. She lets it go and yep. she she's nice. And, and it's um, good that is well. Well, I mean, he needed it that. It can lead to problems, surely, but now it's working that uh, you put the name of another one in the house, so the yeah, DA uh, won't know this or no one. Maybe or, won't yeah, mind. Because I mean, we guessed that he he, he kind of he, uh, had she, a business meeting in this apartment. Yeah, but I so. mean, if something's happen, if something's happened, they try to. Follow the lead of the dealers or is a tree yeah, uh, they won't find dealer him. tree dealer yeah yeah the tree dealer if if they follow their house and they see that it's Jesse Pinkman Jesse Pinkman as uh, oh once again the name thing. comes out yeah the name comes out once again they will they have the, they have his profile like he said yeah. so maybe that if there's Jesse Jackson I know it's not a long way uh, near Jesse Pinkman but it's still Surely different. it can. Yeah. It can make it vague or. It helps. Hide keep the. Keep a low profile. Hide the hands. Hide the hands. Yeah, keep a low profile. Keep it helps a profile, keep yeah. a low profile. Which brings me to. Okay, first of all, the idea of creating his own network is really good. It keeps yeah. him away from the danger. I thought he was gonna do it at the beginning of episode one, but then we have the sellers day. that sell yeah. before him. But yeah, uh, I know that uh, Albuquerque so surely has its drug dealers uh, or it's it, a territory yeah. taken, so yeah. they just make a deal. So, but now the the territory is con not contested, but free. Well, so no one's selling right start. now, so at yeah. least in their in their ter territory. But I do believe that one. the Albuquerque is mostly a big city, so surely someone will come over to try to take the place. Maybe, but uh, and right they don't now, really want it. They don't, and they don't really want to take the place. They just want to sell their stuff. Uh, sell yeah, their stuff. but if you sell your stuff in someone else's territory, that could bring problems. But they're not doing that right now. They are basically in Tuco's old territory where no one is selling now, and uh, I think it's a good idea because you, yeah, Jesse has a point when he says that he's usually the one doing what Walter wants, and he ends up suffering. Because I was about to ask you, do you see the pattern? Usually you've got Walter telling Jesse, we need to expand, we need to work with Tuco, deal with it. Jesse ends up being getting beaten. Oh, we need to do this, I mean, we need to... Walter is trying to uh, take control of the street yeah, stuff. Yeah, but he doesn't that... understand them. Yeah, and that's, uh, that's the thing you said, and I agree too. Like, uh, that uh, Walter is good in the chemistry, Jesse needs to hear from him. Just vice versa. <laughs> just like yeah, just the like same Jesse. thing around for Walter listening to Jesse. Exactly, and but, but Wal I agree, uh, Jesse though. and Jesse is not able to take to put his limits to Walter. But Jesse is not able to t to put his limits to Mr. Wright. Mr. White. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Mr. What do you White. Mean, what do you mean his limits? Like when you said that you need to sell to two codes and he goes and okay, scale, he can't say no. No, he, he can't say no to Mr. White, but maybe he can say no to Walter. I mean, I felt like he grew balls in this episode, like, after they fought yeah. last in the last one. But he saw the consequences to listening to Walt. Yeah, he got beaten up. He almost yeah. got killed. So. And they both had the, the, the experience to not listen to Walt, as, as to say, and follow what Jesse needs to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he did yeah. say it. It's time to listen to me. It's time to do it my way, which seems to be working. And Walt agreed. Yeah. But you now I still I'm... have uh, problems with it, like uh, arguing about a thousand dollars. And I was kind of right with Walter. Yeah. You need to put your reputation up, up high. Like true. you don't fuck with me, you're gonna hand back. In this world, it's true that if you do not play the role, if you do not play the part, you're putting yourself in danger. Walter is not wrong when he's saying that portraying himself as someone who lets go of of these things that ju is just weak. And it's, it's, it's bound to happen again. And in, in this world, you don't have, you don't want yeah. to have weaknesses. Though the thing, though, is now what? He's basically showing up at Jesse's house, putting putting a gun on his on his counter, and basically saying, "Deal with it, Jesse." Yeah. Maybe I threatening. Like to think, just threatening the two, uh, the witch, and I mean, they his... stole some of their drugs, so yeah. so yeah. But uh, I like to think that Jesse, and I've said it in season one, I'm going to say it again, but in my mind, Jesse likes to portray himself as this big shot criminal, but he does not have the heart to hurt someone, no. threaten someone, kill someone. That's not in his character. Usually, Walter's the one handling that. He's mm. done it before. Yep. But now, it's almost like he's, he's, he's saying mm. to Jesse, you want it to be the big drug lord, now be the drug lord. 
do yeah. the job. And that's why I thought that Eisenberg was going to go. I mean, we don't know. Maybe. There's another episode after this. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, three other seasons, too. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I so... What? It's, a, it's not a spoiler, but I heard that there's an episode called Better Call Soul, so I do believe that something's going to happen after. It's not a spoiler, I'm just making... I'm just making the links. <laughs> well, yeah, there is an episode called Better Call Saul very soon, actually. And I do know Saul. People told me that I will love him. Yeah, you, yeah I know you you'll love that. him. You will love Saul. Mm. You, you'll laugh a lot with him. This I love lame. Saul, and, uh, but I, I just, I know this is your type of character, so I cannot wait. But it's okay. not now, though. It's not now. No, no, no. But the yeah. next episode, I think, is Peekaboo, and this is an episode I've been waiting for you to Oh, watch. my God. Yeah. I remember that when you said, oh, after it's down, oh, after it's a uh, breakage, ah, and after it's Peekaboo, ah. I've been and doing that And she was screaming <laughs> with the uh, Amber Frost. Yeah. I mean, I've been excited for a lot of episodes. Like, this is not, I'm not spoiling you when I'm doing that, because I no, know some no. people say that just telling someone that uh, th what this episode is going to be great is kind of a spoiler, but I don't think that way. I feel like it's just... I know the rest of the show no, is going to be great. I still have the mystery to know what's going to happen. Exactly. Is it a good thing or a bad thing? It's going to be a character development. I know that Breaking Bad is going to lead to... Greatness. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> a lot of emotions, a lot of things happening. Of course, if, yeah. if it's warranted, I would have be, been disappointed. I'm not spoiling anything. Don't worry. No. Alright, all right, so we're going to move on because I'm really excited for this next episode. Yeah, so uh, thank you guys for watching us. <laughs> yes, if you want to see the next one, uh, uh, the next episode right away, it's already on Patreon. No! Yeah. No! Eh. You do no. that joke every... No! <laughs> you do it every time! <laughs> but yeah, it's yeah. on Patreon right now. The episode is uh, down there. Just click on the link. and Or, or subscribe to our YouTube channel and you will see it next week. Yes. So see you guys. Bye. Bye.